What is up guys, it is your boy Snow here bringing you a another gameplay video. Today, we're going to be going over the weekly reset for July 29th. Um, today, we're going to be going over weapons. Now, this is on PlayStation 4. The first thing I want to say is, do not buy anything. Don't buy it. I don't care what it is. I don't care how good it is. Don't buy it. Because... Underground is coming out on Tuesday, so you will have your chance to get all the weapons that are in any of the weapon vendors. Um, you will have a better chance of getting them without spending any money or any Phoenix credits. So I'd save your Phoenix credits for rerolls on weapons, and I'd save all your regular credits or Dark Zone credits for new weapons or new gear items that are going to be coming uh, to PlayStation 4. But anyways, we'll go over each of the weapon vendor vendors. I'm not going to go over uh, the mod vendors or, you know, the special equipment vendors in the Dark Zone. Just going to do the weapon vendor here in the base of operations, downstairs in the HUD, and also the weapons vendor in the Dark Zone. Those are the only ones I'm going to be doing because I really don't think there's a point in this day of the game to go over the mods vendors because it's the same mods over and over again. They kind of flip on and off each week. Um, last week they had a firearms mod and a stamina mod, so this week they'll probably have a performance mod and an electronics mod, and then next week they'll go back to the firearms mod and stamina mod um but anyways we'll go off starting with the special equipment vendor at the upstairs in the base of operations got the historian as always been in there since uh 1.2 or 1.1 1.1 or 1.2 i'm pretty sure 1.2 um but it's the same stuff 39.4k damage 153 headshot damage has prepared intense and harmful on it um now the Super 90 is here, it's 69.4k damage, has sustained, predatory, and dominant on it. Um, decent, but not great. I mean, the great one would be brutal, deadly, and maybe ferocious, or skilled, or something along those lines. And we got a 204 custom M44. Um, with cool headed, sustained, and swift. This would be a lot better if swift wasn't there. If it was something like harmful or predatory, that would be good. And then this is probably the best weapon here, but it's only a 182 gear score. If it was a 204 or 229, I would tell you to maybe buy it. But it's a black market RPK 74E has uh it's a gear score 280 it has brutal sustained and ferocious what i would do is i would buy this and roll uh brute or deadly on it or something other than sustained but it's only a gear score 182 honestly if you got a gear score 229 that damage would probably be at 8500 or 8900 close to 9000 so that's that. Um, all the other stuff is the same old stuff over and over and over again. The operate, the operator mask 204, the tactical mask 204, the operator vest 182, and the operator pack 182. Now they did add a Predator's Mark backpack, I'm pretty sure, and the Hunter's Faith holster. Um, both 191 gear score items. Not worth it. Not worth it at all, especially with the Underground coming out soon. If you are purchasing it, don't even bother buying anything here. I'm telling you guys, it's not going to be worth it. Especially since they have increased recently on Xbox and PC. They have made it so you can get uh, items from 1.1 and 1.2. It used to only be you would only get items for one, from 1.3. So that means getting an MP7 or an AK-47 or something like that was nearly impossible. But now all that stuff is there along with all the gear set items and stuff like that. So we'll go here downstairs to the bottom of the base of operations or where the terminal is going to be for the underground. 
and this guy has a little bit better stuff um if you're not getting the update the underground update then i will suggest you getting the LVO lv oac it's a 204 um you might be better off going into the dark zone and trying to grind for 229 but other than that it's a pretty decent weapon as responsive accurate and meticulous plus 23 percent enemy armor damage but I honestly don't think it's worth it just because of the 229 gear score kind of makes the 204s obsolete like there's no point of going backwards like in my point all my guns are 229 there's no reason for me to buy this weapon because I'd be just going backwards I'd be taking less damage um, less enemy armor damage stuff like that I'd just be better off grinding for a 229 with the weapons I have so there's that but anyways we'll go over the historian again has prepared intense and harmful on it uh, historian the terrible weapon the m1a's and the srs is still 10 times better but you got the covert srs um with 40.5k 166 percent headshot damage determined provident and proficient I wouldn't recommend this just because it's a skill build SRS so you have to have a lot of electronics in order to successfully have all the talents so I wouldn't recommend that I already tell, told you about the LVOAC if you aren't getting the underground update and you don't feel like going into the dark zone and grinding for the 229 LVOAC then I suggest getting this one and re-rolling maybe accurate for something else or meticulous for something else and then the G36 enhance I will be doing a video on the G36 later this week but do not buy the G36 that's all I gotta say just don't buy it it's not worth it um, then we got the tactical mask, the operator mask, predator's mark, uh, spec ops, operator holster, all the same stuff from the top. Just for some reason on PS4, these two change. Like the one downstairs and the one upstairs change. The one downstairs sometimes has swips out, switches out a couple of the guns for other weapons. So we'll go now to DZ, what is it? DZ3? Yeah, DZ3. <coughs> And we'll check out the special weapons vendor. Now, I've already checked this guy out. And there's one thing that is worth it. And sorry if you can hear the air conditioner in the background. I just leaned over towards my air conditioner a little bit. So, if you heard that, sorry. But, like I said, there's, a, there's one weapon in here that is worth it. All the other ones aren't worth it unless you aren't getting the underground update so we'll go ahead and run a rayon over here hopefully i'll run into a group and they see me solo up oh, supply drops or in route okay they're not even going to be paying attention to me at least if they're smart they shouldn't pay attention to me um but that's one thing i want i'm going to do a video on is the dark zone for solo players and how bullshit it is sometimes for solo players um i had a little experience yesterday that kind of pissed me off and really ruined my day so i'll tell you about that in another video i'm gonna start pumping out some videos for you guys especially since the underground update is on tuesday uh, and I'm a solo player, so I will be grinding out every mission and trying to post every mission that I play on this YouTube channel. So you guys get a feel for what the missions are like and if you haven't gotten the underground update, whether to get it or whether to not get it. Um, but the first thing we'll start off at, we got the Military SA-58, gear score 182, you have to be ranked DZ rank 40, has prepared, skilled, capable on it with a 10.3k damage and 22% enemy armor damage. The, SA, the SA-58s are good, my thing is, is um, the magazine size. Now with this gun... You either have to go with a magazine size or the fire rate. And 9 times out of 10, you want to go with the magazine size. And it still doesn't have enough fire rate. So the SA-58s aren't that great of an assault rifle. 
Um, we got the 163 Officers M9A1. Okay, it has Expert Predatory on it, and then 6,748 damage. Not great. The first wave X45s are 10 times better. We got this poor little military scar H 131 gear score rank 15. Not really going to go over this one because most of you guys, if you're watching this, are above um, rank 30 and probably going on to the 180 plus DZ bracket. So this gear score 131 is useless. Now here's where we get into the OK weapons. We got Tactical Super 90 SBS has Vicious, Restored, and Predatory on it. Um, vicious is okay, but 9 times out of 10 you aren't at full health. Especially in PvP, there's very little times where you're at full health. Unless you're overhealing with your self-heal, or you have overheal on your med packs. But 9 times out of 10 you are going to fall below low health. Um, and then we got the military M60 E4. Now I really recommend the M60s for PVE. Haven't really tried it in PVP. Um, but I really do recommend these weapons. It's just if it was a 229, I'd say yes, get it. But it's not a 229, it's a 204. So it has meticulous, brutal, and sustained on it with 8,996 damage. And 24% damage to target out of cover. So if the target's out of cover, you're out of cover. You'll deal 24% more damage. And then we got the M29 or the M249B with restored, self-preserved, and dominant. This is a decent weapon if it didn't have dominant and restored on it. Now you can reroll one of these talents it's just i wouldn't there's no reason to reroll one talent if you're not going to use like all the talents like i wouldn't use any of these talents um every kill performed while your sign signature skill was active reduces cooldown of your other skills by nine percent be honest when is your signature skill active nine times out of ten your signature skill is active Either one, you're in trouble with NPCs, which nine times out of ten people won't use um, their signature skill just because there's no reason to. You can hide there undercover, wait for one of your skills to come back, and then use your skill and you're back at it. And then in PvP, you're using your signature skill either as a defensive move because you're playing solo and you get jumped by a four man, or you're using it offensively to go after a whole bunch of rogues that are running through the dark zone. Alright, so <clears throat> it, it's not really that good of a talent. Then you got the Valkyra, um, the custom M4. And then the AUG. Now the custom M4, it would be good if it was 229. But honestly, not 229. I could care less. You got the tactical AUG. After the AUG nerf, the AUG is useless just about, I think. Anyways, I had an AUG. It had deadly, brutal, and ferocious on it. Then I got a T821 with the same perks and the T821 outperforms the AUG like crazy. You can see it's a 204 and the max damage you can get on it is 10.1k. That's pretty low for a 204. I think mine uh, for 204 the max that you could get on it was 11.1k. And the max on mine that I can get right now is 11.8k. So... That's that. Everything else is still the same. Don't recommend any of this stuff. So, after all in review, after seeing everything, after looking everything over, I do not recommend, <clears throat> excuse me, getting anything um, 
with this new vendor reset just because the underground's coming out soon you're going to be able to open up your sealed caches get weapons get items gear mods performance mods doesn't matter what it is every type of mod every type of gun every type of gear item you're going to be able to get whether you're a solo player a group player no matter what you're going to be able to get this stuff and it's going to be 10 times easier than going into the dark zone and fighting those crazy heavy npcs that are out there um but anyways that's it guys if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any comments go ahead and comment them down in the description below and i will see you guys in the next video peace out